Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Let's go ahead and just jump right back on in, I guess. Now, we were at camp when last we left off with the adventures of Zelastar, the white dragonborn monk. We just come across a brand new village. A grove. Emerald Grove, to be precise. Let's see what adventures we will get to today. <clears throat> Don't think there's much to do right now, so I guess we'll just go to bed and end this day. That'll work. We gotta get up our food to make sure that we have enough food to actually rest. We got plenty of camping supply packs that take care of the entire gauge for us. And what are you doing, the Stereon? Okay. Yeah, what, what was that about last night, huh? Well, hello. What can I do for you? You seem chipper. Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. I like tedium. All right, then. Bye. All right. Let's uh, leave camp and get back to Emerald Grove. Well, last episode, this place was under siege by goblins. So now I think everyone's just gonna pack up and leave. Hmm. Blood still fresh on the battlefield. What do you got to say about that, Kaldani? Aridin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Oh, sorry, disappoint. Hells, I didn't mean it that way. Halson's important, but you're the first bit of good faith we've had since he left. Keep your wits about you. Things are tense with the druids here. So there's druids here? This seems like it could be something. What's this? Here lies Cannon. He gave his life defending others. He will be missed. It's kind of a curt epitaph, don't you think? Well, whatever. Let's go explore this place a bit. One crisis after another. I should go just a little faster, but that's okay. The big halting dragon guy. Alright, here at the hollow. <clears throat> Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most Hello, Narukami95. Hello, Iki Kurogane, like and sub, Jeppo. The ritual will be complete before too long. Uh, what were you talking about? Ah, I forgot. You're a blow-in. Don't call me that. A few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter. Or leave. A that sounds condition. dire. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the grove is paramount. But they all the grove to support everyone. Oh, I'm out of here. So yes, the druids are spooked by the goblin attack that happened, so they're going to seal off the grove and everyone that they've taken into their care and their sanctuary. They're kicking out and saying, "Well, good luck. We're going to look after ourselves." 
That's bullshit. All right, Octa, what you cooking? You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Who oh, did you? Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Agreed. Hungry warriors make for easy prey. You've been on hard times too, huh? Saw in the past. That doesn't mean it's behind us, though, does it? That's deep. Here. Have more. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me. Oh, we got some gruel. Could probably take that to camp and have that for a meal. Got ourselves a blacksmith. Damn. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. I was trained to fight bare-handed. Not really one for weapons. Might have to teach the rest of us that trick then. Expect half these blades will break the first time they strike a goblin skull. I've had to make do with what I could scavenge. Oh, did you hear that, guys? This guy's uh, wears suck. That forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Well, that's, uh, well, how bad can they be? Let me see your wares. Some lore about El Toro. It's a city that fell into one of the hells. It's actually a D&D campaign you can play. Yeah, a lot of this is actually based on D&D, because it's, like, really a D&D &D game. He's got some good stuff. Not a bad mace there. But I don't think we can afford too much, us only having 111 gold between all of us. Probably come back, though, after we uh, do a bit more questing, though. All right. Let's leave. Damn, druids. I use a wooden tool. You see the wooden tool on my back? You're using wooden tools like barrels and like nightstands and. Man, you're dumb. I'm gonna kill you where you stand. But I can't do that because I'm a monk. Oh, good and all that. Oh, what else? Who else is here we can talk to? Hey, you! Ikaran. We've known enough grief this ten-day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. I, I, I just saved the goblins. What makes, what makes you think I'm going to be trouble? Well, no one trusts me. Is it because I'm a big old dragon? Forgotten Realms. I Did I read like a D&D &D book way back in the day? Or maybe that was Dragonlance. Yeah, I think I read like a Dragonlance novel like way back when I was in high school. No, not earlier than that. Seventh grade. Oh, wow. All right, Tilsis, what do you got? You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Whoa, thanks for the gift subs, King Viper. Many, many thanks. Your help at the gate was appreciated. Uh, it was necessary, thank you. I'm zealous, all though. Well met. Though I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business here, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This latest attack will only strengthen their resolve. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. Uh, th this ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her. For more time to prepare, if nothing else. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. 
We know you are oh, great st- debt. Oh, calm down, Asterion. If we're forced to leave now, more of my people will die. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. I think we're going to be killing us some goblins today. No, sir. But if there's a clear path... Bed roll over here. Yes. Not much else. Of course. All right, let's go see the head of the druids here. I wonder if there's anybody else I can talk to around here. I do love making friends. All right, look at the old map here. There's still. You have to go down here still. What are you three on about? Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine, too. We can fight and yell louder! Uh, I'm gonna go with the Dragonborn thing. Uh, Klan is everything. You don't abandon those you swore to protect. I made no such oath, and I will not be held responsible for these people. Just be responsible for yourself, then. We have to stay. It's the right thing to do. Suck. Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. But alright, you guys stay here, turtle up, I'll, I'll take care of the goblins, and everything will be right as rain. No worries. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. I'm a big dragon, dude. I can take care of myself, thanks. I swear that ox's gaze is following me. Something off about this ox? The ox makes me uneasy. Let's see why. Yeah, minus one on intelligence, but plus four for Arcana equals twelve. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Go. We are still very, very, very early into Baldur's Gate three. Yes. I mean, it's only episode two. Wouldn't expect to get to Act 3 in just an hour and a half. Was that stealing? I could I could have took those, right? Okay. What are you doing, kid? He eh. stares right past you as if you're invisible. Or boring. How does he look boring? Look at him! Are you alright? Mm-hmm. I see. Anything else on your mind? He's still staring right past you. What is he looking at? You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Crud. I do believe I've been duped by a fairy. Alright. Seems important. It's a lovely view there. I'm like, ooh, a ladder. That's curious. Oh. oh. Not a chance. I'll fit in there. May or may not want to check my money count. Oh, don't fucking tell me. Oh. I don't think it. It didn't change. It didn't change. So, uh. This is my quote-unquote second playthrough, because I'm doing one, like, in the background to kind of, you know, prepare me for some things and all that. Uh, I am about to go to Act 2, I think. Like, they've been threatening me with, like, three points of no return. I'm Please, heading into Act 2. It's been, like, it 25 hours so far, Let my so... Daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Radrashab, or I'll rip your damn throat out! 
Oh, okay, okay, back up. We don't need to be doing none of this. Come on now. Well, you're all leaving in an orderly fashion, I see. It's like, oh, a bear. Well, I better not stick around here. Oh, Act 1.5, huh? I guess that does kind of make sense. Hey. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back. Uh, duh, duh, duh. I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, uh, there are a lot of party members, but uh, you can only have three at a time. I do wish I could understand you. Hello, Volo. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions. Well, I didn't really see them up close. I kind of. No Took pot shots at them from afar, but you know. But uh all right, ask your questions. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. You know, I had a feeling that Volo was important. I don't know, he, he like had this uh, dandelion from Witcher kind of there to him, so. The thing is, I don't know much about D&D's like official lore, so whenever things happen, I'm like, oh, that's somebody. All right, they were. Let's see. I could say common variety, or I could give an exact description. Yeah. Let's 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 be honest. Honesty is the best policy, after all. Very monk-like, you know. Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded I magic blowguns. I did not say and that. The dragon they had marching in the rear was it of the brass or silver variety? A brass or silver dragon would die a million deaths before allying with goblins. Witnesses noticed. Red dragon marching at rear. I gotta say, I am already growing tired of his disingenuous Last assertions. Question. Then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Uh. Sure. Yes, they called out like the they, they called out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Curious and that's what you don't write down? I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglamiet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal. Huh. I don't think that's goblin superstition. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Y uh, 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 Wait, why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Uh, Until we meet again. You know, man's not wrong. Every story does get better with the inclusion of a dragon. Like, 95% of the time. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. Huh. You guys are all having a time. I'll leave you to it. Got a bear here. Seepy bear. I'll let, you, I'll let you rest there then, hun. Can I talk to this bird? I can talk to the bird. There are a lot of animals here that I feel like I can talk. Like, they're all shape shifting, aren't they? Like you. Stories that suck when they had a dragon. Honestly, I can't think of many. Uh, 
Oh dear. This must be that little girl who... Alright, let's see here. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Raph? Fates was good. A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Sounds like power's gone to her head. Uh, imprison her? She's just a child. She's a parasite. What? She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Raph, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. <laughs> Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. All right, so we got... Uh... All right, let's, let's go monk here. You act rashly, as a cornered viper would. Free the child or more, thief more tieflings will interrupt you. Okay, we got monk but minus charisma. I wonder if I should. Uh, I wonder if I should save scum. Nah, let the dice roll. Let's go. Yeah, thirteen. Listen to reason, people. Come on. A gathered herd of the devils would indeed be disruptive. It is as you say. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. I already don't like her. It hurts. Thank you, Corbin. I mean, she tr Master tries to kill and poison a little girl. That's a reason enough to hate her. Like, tongue. she's racist? Like, I, I get it, yeah. Just, th just throw that on there, too. Right then, at least we did the right thing there. What have you got to say there, Gale? That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. Agreed. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Exactly. Put a, putting a child like that on display like that was monstrous. I'm glad we intervened. Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. I guarantee she'll never try a thing like that ever again. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. Uh, old wounds it's don't glow to do purple with like that. Tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Okay, well. Turn to other matters then. All right, so what we got on the old map here? We've got find her parents, say that she's alive, and talk to Kaga to see if we can't do a thing about these here gablins. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Go us. And if I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. Point taken. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Korgo seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin called, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more sent into a world gone mad. Well, if no one's looking for Halsin, well, I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Oh, no need to fret. I'll find him. Sylvanas' blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. All right. Come, Silver. Stay close. Go find. Uh oh. 
Anything more to say, Shadowheart? As you've noticed, I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. So Shadowheart's afraid of wolves. Whenever she sees wolves, she uh, has to roll a... What was it? A wisdom saving throw? Or, or else she gets frightened. Well, everyone's got their own fears. I won't judge yours. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. I mean, if you're, like, deathly Maybe afraid of grass like or trees, then we you're have different. a problem. Yeah, that's, that's, that's nothing. Alright, should probably talk to this, uh... Racist, hateful, child, it, attempted murdering bitch. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I'm not gonna go right out and say it, though, but... Your iron will is impressive, if a touch inflexible. You speak in paradox. I care not for steel, but I know if it bends, it breaks. I will not allow this grove to be broken. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make Emerald Grove great again, or something? Well, Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate, the metal of a skilled sword for hire. Don't use swords. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the Grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Well, then it seems I'd better speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. Ugh. What a nasty lady. You are not nice. Not nice at all. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. Okay, well. I think we'd better stop stalling and get to some, uh, murder innocent goblins before they do some murdering of tieflings and druids. That's something over there. What do you see? I can't even see a lock to pick. All right, so mystery door here. What has to do with that? I imagine one of these druids could open it. I see you. Just give me a moment. Oh wait. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? You serve fried blue jay. I mean, uh, d d uh, you good enough to treat, uh, let's see. Healing! Looks like I, I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. Let me kneel down here. I'm very tall, you see. You seem healthy, you know. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Well, no good way of putting this. I, uh, have a tadpole in me head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole. Do you know of them? Can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. See, my first playthrough, I didn't talk to all the uh, NPCs too much, so there's a lot that I didn't get to experience. Like, I didn't even know that Nettie could even open this door. But here we are. This seems... There's something in that vessel. Take a cl This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Ah. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I think Drow and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start.
It's Are you gonna John stick that in my eye? On their expedition to find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things, studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. I, I really, what's that plant? Will it help? It might. But first thing. Uh, uh, tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. It, uh, on, a mind on a mind flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. Yeah. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. So that stick would have done something this bad, then, right? This is a of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Uh... I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. What do you got a problem with that, Asterion? I've spent my life it's like if I transform, before, it's gonna suck, everyone will die, so I'll just drink infection. it and just get it over then with. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out the door keeps what opening. the hell was going on. That's supposed to be secret. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean, should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flare is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. That's good news? Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected. Folks like you have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Do you think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why the... All right, then. We've got our mission. Go and find Halson. Take care of the goblins. Than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. The bird's eyes are glassy. Oh it's no! Breathing weak. It's a poor little guy. I guess it didn't work after all. Well, all right. Let's get a move on. Actually, we can level up. So let's go ahead and do that. What level do three. That? All right, I get specialization, health increase, a key point, deflect missiles, and harmony of fire and water. 
All right. Hello, Sims Mage. What do you got here? Way of the Four Elements, Way of the Open Hand, The Way of Shadow. Oh, that's it. So, we're going to be a. Uh, we're going to be a, d the Avatar. We're going to be like early Dragon Ball Goku. Or are we going to be like Thief from the Thief games? Well, let's see. We got Flurry of Blows, but Harmony of Fire and Water. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't think I want to go Way of Shadow, because Asterion's going to do a lot of the uh, stealthy stuff for me. But, uh... I don't know, I think it'd be more fun if we did uh, the Way of the Four Elements. So we'll do that. Alright, what do we got? Blade of Rhyme? Ooh! Alright. Chill of the Mountain? Fangs of the Fire Snake? Oh, these are cool. Shit. Fist of Four Thunders. Fist of Unbroken Air. Rush of the Gale Spirits. Shaping of the Ice. Sphere of Elemental Balance. Wow. Sweeping Cinder Strike. We'll go with that, definitely. Touch of the Storm and Water Whip. Hmm... Well, I'm liking Fangs of the Fire Snake. That sounds pretty badass. Let's go for one more here. Would be a good one. I like the idea of Water Whip. Being able to control enemies, maybe I can, like, yank them off of cliffs or whatever. Yeah, we can do some fun stuff with that, I think. Alright. Next up is Shadow Heart. Yes. She gets health increase. And more spells. Uh, let's see. Probably get rid of one of these. And I'll get rid of the Shield of Faith. No more Bond. We'll keep healing word though. What do we got for level twos here? Aid's good. Lesser restoration. Warring Bond, Silence, Blindness. Ah, oh, Spiritual Weapon, that's good. And Hold Person. That'll be good for now. Next up is Asterion. Yes. Specialization, Health, Spell Slots, all that. Alright, we got the Arcane Trickster, the Thief, or the Assassin. Hmm. I, I gotta go assassin. There's no other way to go. It has to be assassin. Then <sighs> last, but uh, probably least for now, it's Gale. All right. What's he got? We can get two spells from this immense list here. Find familiar. Okay, that's. Don't want to go through all these here. Cloud of daggers sounds good. And scorching ray. Just leave it like that, I guess. Oh, I can only pick from two of those spells. Oh, okay. Could probably get rid of uh, a couple of these and give her something better then. Color spray. Uh, charm person, burning hands. Ice knife would be good. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, why not? Rid of chromatic orb. Burn and expect. Because I already had ice knife? That's fair. I don't think we'll have visibility then. Just because it'd be fun. And... 
That'll do. All right. Now, away we go. Everybody's at full health. Everyone's looking good. Looking strong. Everyone's got new spells, new things to work with. Let's go rescue a druid and save all these tieflings. Alright, map's telling us to talk to the parents. Then over here is where Halson should be. And there's where Zevlor is telling them that we're going to go help him. But first, happy family reunites. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Oh, now Our you're fine. Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. I hope we meet again under better circumstances. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. I got a... Whatever that is. It's my job too. The druids don't Might as well show off our character sheet here, because I think we got some things we can equip now. We have to look after ourselves. That's what I guess I can get a crossbow. That'd be nice. What do we got in terms of armor, though? Not much, really. Uh, glove. Oh, I got some gloves here. Yeah, I'll go with that. Komira's Locket. Dancing Lights. Well, why not? What do I think of Baldur's Gate so far? Uh, the more I play it, the more I understand why it won Game of the Year. It's, uh... It's really addicting. And it's really well put together, and I, 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 I see the appeal. Totally makes sense now. Can't go this way, can I? Oh, I can. Right. One of the one of the room was in here. Maybe I can get some more info you before he head out. Me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shooting fish in a barrel ain't gonna save anybody. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Ease now. Easy. There will be no Sorry, bloodshed yes, here. Sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You move. I sense the pain you carry. Killing this creature will not ease your burden. Ooh, I got plus six on this one. I can roll a four or higher, right? Good. 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 Ha! <sighs> You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? If she dies, she'll take everything she knows to the grave. And I think she's counting on that, too. If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. I've got mind it's powers. Right, okay. Let's go. I can do mind stuff to her. I, oh, did you did you like that, Gale? Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Hey, Vi, welcome to the stream. Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. What is the Yawning Portal? An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, and vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. What was the standoff about? Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. I'm... Dragonborn. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. In any case, out came the crossbow. 
and a hush fell over the entire room. What happened next? I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. The tension drained into five dozen tankards, and soon all was well again. Who In paid a place for it, like though? The, yawning portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I'll drink to that. Zelostar has very muted expressions, I'll grant. Alright, so how do I talk to this thing? Here we go. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Who is this Absolute you're so fond of? Your god? Goddess. Oh, okay. We're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. An all-powerful goddess that can't get you out of a cage. <laughs> Maybe she sent you to help me. And you will. If you want to save your skin. And if the teeth stick a few arrows in us on the way out of here, don't worry. Priestess Gut will patch us up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. No, my, my, probably my finger's already in someone else's someone cookie jar, you know. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. Booyog. The goblin word for magic. Primitive to a fault, but not entirely without merit. Well, I'd certainly like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? No. You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the priestess myself. Bye! Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. Well, I beat you the wargs to death. Me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Bye. <laughs> See ya! I mean, you're a prisoner. I, mean, I don't want to deal with. I, I, I don't want to intervene in the laws of this land. After all, you know. Place is locked. There's somebody in there, though. Probably not for me to know. It's fine. Okay. Don't think we got much gold. So, how do we get out of here? Just head south. Okay. We're gonna talk to Zaslav, or whoever he is, or Zevlor. Round the bend here. There he is. Well, he's through here at least, but here he is. There's. Oh, wait, that's the exit. Okay. Zevlor! I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. NBD. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Uh, leaving the grove is the best option. I can help. It's good of you to offer. But there's a whole army of goblins out there. Told you. We I'm on it. We an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. No, 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 no. There We're the army. A way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership. And they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. I think we can handle it. Well, kill the goblin hordes leaders. I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp depends on it. But why do you disapprove, Thank Asterion? We're gonna kill we'll be people! Ready to leave as soon as you give word. Just exactly why do you disapprove of us going to murder goblins? With respect. I thought you'd be, like, all on board with that. 
Or is he just some fop that's like, oh, having to do a thing is just, I, I don't feel like doing it. I'd rather not get involved and just brood somewhere in a corner. Anyway, heading south, yeah. Let's go finally kill some goblins. Or at least go on the path. That'll get us to the place we need to go to to start killing some goblins. <coughs> yeah. I just realized that there's an X and Y coordinate on my map there. Huh. Didn't even know. Well, blood's still here. At least the bodies and gore are gone. You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. You mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short-term amusements are much less hassle. All right. Here we go. Oh, you can practically smell the filth. Goblin tracks? Where? Found a pouch, though. It's over here. Gold and a malachite. Malachite. Malachit. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about Bloodless something? pig it's meat. Dead. That's the pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Mm-hmm. But if we have if we're here for a conversation, that there is something we need to see here. Can I roll an eight or higher? D again! Right on the cusp! It's twice now, I don't like that! The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. Ho oh, ho ho! Is it dead enough for you? I do believe he has been vampired. These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? I say very unconvincingly. Eleven or higher, let's go. Well, that didn't work. Yes, I know. It's a waste of our time, and I'm done indulging you. Okay. Guess we're just gonna ignore that, then. Oh, it's a wrecked cart here. We will need a shovel. I will take that. Maybe a dagger for good measure. Let me just come by here, hold X, and then we can highlight everything. Add that. What's in the burlap sack? Four potatoes! Don't need to get that. D don't know where I need to destroy it, but that's fine too, I guess. Uh, gate. And that's it. Okay. Ugh. Something happened here, Jesus. You folks okay? Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Ooh, the goblins need to be dealt with, so I'm dealing with them. Bet you will too. Just like my mates here did. Contract cleverly left out, we'd be tits deep in these buggers. What was the contract? The kind that leaves half your crew dead. I hate those kind. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Yo, you're giving up? I might take a shot at it myself then. Have at it. If you think you can do better. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Shadowheart does not approve. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. I hear the druid's leader went with you. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. 
Uh, well, all right, hand over that contract. Maybe I'll get the relic and save the druid. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Thank you. Come on. What a, what a, what a nice gentleman. What a very nice man. Golly. So helpful. Didn't sugarcoat nothing either. Right, anything around these parts we can get a good look at? Oh, some dead folks up there. All right. Got a dead tiefling here and a backpack. No idea what could have killed him, though. Could have been anything. All right. You know what I really oh, no. Well, well, boys. Looks like we got ourselves a trespasser. Don't bother running. My archer's got decent aim and plenty of arrows. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within mm. you stares in response. Stand down. Now. Oh, I can roll the not a one, right? Come the fuck on! Are you kidding? It was a two! It was the one number I was not supposed to roll! Looks like we got ourselves another brave one. Lads, you know what to do! Well, I'm glad you approve of that, at least, Asterion. Ah, fuck. Ah, we're all burning. Ah, goddammit, Asterion, or Zelostar is already hurt like fuck. Ah, uh, this went so far south. Oh well. Say la vie. Can I go? Oh no, I'm surprised, right. Well, this is working out swimmingly so far. Everyone else is on fire. Uh, all right then. Can I pull? Time for some bloody. Like, hey, work. you! Just come the fuck here. Oh, that completely demolished you. Well, I see. All right, Gail, you need to get out of there. It's covered in sick. I don't like that too much. Uh, maybe we can get some fun going on with some magic missile here. We got four level one spots here. All right. Three of the motherfuckers up there. There's a bolog. There's another guy right here. So... Well, to keep it simple, stupid, how about we just go ahead and go one, two, and that will, that will put all three of them on there. Three. Go for it. Excellent. Very excellent. I am pleased. Turn someone inside out. All right. Asterion, can you sneak attack anybody? Nope, because you've got low ground all over the place. That's fine. Get a ranged attack. Maybe you can... Possibly get this bugger. Well, you tried, but that's that's fine. It's all good. That guy thinks he's gonna get brave and def ooh, can I deflect missile? Do it! Ha ha ha! Yeah! Did I throw it back at him? Oh, it's awesome! Ah, uh, it's good to be a monk. On the move. <laughs> All right. This one, I think I'll just go firebolt. 50% on that guy, 60 on that guy, though. <laughs> Fucking missed. That was hurtful. Use all my key points right off the bat. So what can I do here? Range attack? Well, that's gonna have to be it then. 
good enough. Get out of the way, so we're going to do an AoE attack. With ease. Oh, goes. Is that a cantrip? I think that's a cantrip. So I can just cast that willy nilly. Critical miss! Oh, you are all radically, radically disappointing me today. What yeah, one more hit on that guy. Shadowheart, could you uh, hit him correctly this time? Thank you. Thank you. All right, you three have something to say? All right, start with you, Asterion. So the temple allows us to influence others. How very interesting. Don't get too excited. Influence comes at a cost. And until we know what that cost is, the only reasonable approach is a cautious one. I'm all for being cautious. You have the ability to manipulate people, make them bend to your every whim, and you'd be cautious about it. <laughs> That's no fun. Be careful who you control, Asterion! Well, look, these are strange times and even stranger powers. We should seek to understand them before we make any rash decisions. Sensible. Yes, I know. Now, y'all just calm down, relax, and have a short rest. Off we go, then. All right, another uh, super dead guy here. Sheesh. Well... Goblins know I'm here. Place is probably crawling with them now. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarion? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. Hi, Cliff's Journal. Mm, you must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. Uh -huh. Finish the masterwork weapon. Can make a good weapon if we uh, play our cards right. Not until later, though. Ooh, can I hit the crap out of this guy? Ha! Ah, ha ha ha! Got javelins and a morning star. I'll take a javelin and a morning star just to be safe. Never know when you might need them. This guy was we were digging something up. Yeah, a little bit of gold counts. Weapon blueprints, a master blacksmith's work. Uh huh. Not too refined here. Just quick ideas sketched out. Got all that. I think we've made our way out of the goblin port now. They're all this way. That's where Hall scene is. Huh. That means that this isn't the goblin camp. This is just the Blighted Village, right. So th yeah, this is the first stop on our way to where all the goblins are. To fly. Stop this thing! Oh. <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. The hell's are you doing? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. But he's not flying. You kind of tied him to a windmill, and you're torturing him. Why are you doing this? Cause it makes me laugh. <laughs> well, hitting this guy in the face will make me laugh. All right, fun's over. Release the gnome at once. You want this little cave lurking? What's it? Find your own. He's ours. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. I can only control people once a time. 
All right, let's see if we can read his thoughts. Probably not. I will not roll an 11 or higher. Just a 13. Which is already kind of a cursed number in my eyes. Because 13 is the closest number to 1 on the die. I ain't got much stomach for a fight. Better just put on a show and scare this one off. I can totally intimidate him. You don't have the stomach for a fight. The goblin's nostrils flare, as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. Yes, you are. But what about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to- I said we're leaving. There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. Move it. Fresh meats. Oh, Asterion got inspiration. That's good. Saved us a little bit of time and uh, a bit of a fight on our hands. So what now, Gale? Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. Da, 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 the way you da, 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 stood in front of a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. That's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. Though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Your illness causes you to, con to consume raw magic. You gonna need the details? I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. Oh, it's vital, he says. Oh. consumed an artifact before we were abducted. Only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you. To help me find magic items to consume, it is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. I do? You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. Do I expect as much? Don't worry, happy to help. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. Oh, I'm sure so we yes, well, yes. to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Prime for the moment the need arises. So any well, sort of coming. enchanted item that we have in our inventory, Gale, Gale will need to eat one of them every few days or so. Otherwise, the magic in his body will, like, overtake him or whatever. He'll explain it more later. But I think he's referring to the, uh, the, the pendant that I got from that girl. Let me try to help this guy first. Release, break, and break. So the first time I did this, uh, I hit release, break, you know, it's like, hey, we'll release him. All that does is make it go faster, and he gets flung off of the windmill. Not a good thing. All right, come on down, you. Cut me loose. Don't have any. You don't have any swords. Sorry, free him. I mean, it's kind. Of, it's kind of like a magic leech, but it's like a, a rune on his body. It's, but it's also part of a contract. It's it's kind of like Doctor Facilier in a sense. Get on with it. From Prince and the Frog. Whatever you are. Uh, get on with what? You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? You've been kicked a lot, haven't you? 
But to take without need is unprincipled. You owe me nothing, no. Nothing? I'd rather know how you got caught. Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. A little too far from home for a deep gnome. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. Is that why you get uh, sorted a lot? I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. You steal a necklace off of but somebody, you punch hope. him, you kill him, slit his throat, you don't even clean the blood off when you wear it. Underdark. Come on, man. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm, fun. Right. Well, there's that. Oh, we got a studded shield. You know, I'm going to... Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. Yes. <laughs> you okay there? We... We should keep moving. What just happened? No longer valid. Oh, I think it's because I already asked her about uh, her wounds, so... Alright then, we'll keep going. Now, I got this shield because I usually Whitson have Shadowheart oh, holding a shield, but I think she already has a shield, doesn't she? She does. Silly me. Silly me. Well then, we'll just go ahead and drop it. Put it right back where it was. Still alive. So that's progress. Alright then. Uh, says there's something in this windmill still. Maybe we can find it up here. Got a spear, scimitar, bow. Oh, I got some swill and a some fire and some ribs. Alright. Huh. I thought there'd be something here, really. Huh. What do they want me to find here, then? Well, that's going fast. I don't know what they want me to find. Oh, wait. There's a door here. Ah, here we go. Heavy chest and a backpack. Speed, light feet. 56 gold. That's a pretty, that's a pretty penny. Uh, smoke powder, gold, apple, and bread. I think that's all that's down here. Not too bad. All right, uh, I guess our next step is to... We can probably look into the village a little bit more. Make sure that all the goblins are cleared out of here. So there is one place I do want to hop into. First, I've got a waypoint. You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. Why are you yelling at Shadowheart As here? The symbol glows. Power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. Or you could let me pass and live to see nightfall. Not very charismatic, are you? Eleven? Eighteen. All right. Fair enough. 
Yeah, it's like you could either let me pass or I could kill you. I think that's about how this is mostly going to go anyway. Wait, I just killed these guys right here. That's one minor, I wouldn't say issue, but thing I notice about Baldur's Gate 3 is that I can slaughter an entire group of people in one room of like a like a like an enemy base or whatever and right down the hall and nobody will be any the wiser. I think we can break this webbing though, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Range attack here, and yep, just that easy. And I think we can just. Well, I think I'll be prone, but we can probably jump on down here, right? Yeah, there we go. Best avoid that trap. All right. That box is shaking. Something fierce. Doesn't know if it wants to be used or moved, and I am. Oh dear. I have messed something up. <laughs> Oops! There we go. Oh, wait. There we go. Boy, this, this box is just not behaving. Everything's frozen now. Jeez. Alright, well, this is the forge uh, that they were talking about for the Master Smith weapon. Don't have anything we can use to make anything with, though. What's going on? Is everything just going to be not working now? Alright. See if we can't disarm this. We got, got plenty of ability to do so. Yep, we got it. What's in here? High Cliff's blueprints. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Weapon blueprints. They call for Susa bark. If only I knew where to find some. Well, I know from my other playthrough that the Susa bark tree is deep, deep, deep underground. That's about all we got. Is that what was down here? I don't think so. There's gotta be more. I thought there was. Huh. Cause there's like a whole other other hallway right here. We could totally go through. Hmm. Guess not. Oh well. Locked! Well, how the piss do I get out then? Uh, there's a wooden chest somewhere. Maybe it's up here. That chest is locked. Boy, oh boy, all right. So what do you propose? Uh, just break this down? Let's try. Oh, that actually kind of works. Or did we already do it? Nope, not yet. Alright. Main hand attack. On the wall. There we go. Whispering dirties. Whatever wove them would be much too large for my liking. That's what we need. Spiders. Excellent. Can't have a good D&D &D campaign without fucking spiders. 
You guys okay? I believe we have been found. Phase spiders. Perfect. Just perfect. How hard how hard are these things to kill? Not very hard. D all right, difficult terrain. Web, well, everything is all web then. There we go. It's gonna take a lot to kill these things. Sheesh. Battle of wits. Let's have you my way. for a little bit more. Well, I'm gonna have you magic missile this guy, actually. Go for it! And you still didn't kill him. Disappointed yet again! Can you at least sneak attack this guy? Thank you. My faith will protect me. Can I flee combat? I mean, they're all right here. We can we can take them. Don't be too bad. It's fine. It's fine. These spiders are coming on to me, though. Oh, you come on. Alright, then. Uh, I think for you. I'll go Ray of Frost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big zoom in. Starion can't move. Maybe he can sneak attack this guy. No, he can't. Have a ranged attack. I think he missed like hell. Maybe. I think he did. Alright, Zellstar. Finish him off, please. Thank you. Well done. What's the plan? We'll have you move up, Shadowheart, if you can. We got a whole bunch of bad guys coming our way. We're gonna have you make a spiritual weapon. Go ahead and make us a maul, why don't you? Put it right there. A little bit of a buffer between the enemies and Zealastar. Can you fire your firebolt at this guy, though? You can? Cool. Stop casting web, it's not nice. Hey! Rude! Very rude. Okay. Spray of Frost. Can't really get that guy. Let me get him, though. There you go. Blood in the air. Quickly. Stereo. You get him for me? No. You get him for me? Thank you. Well done. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Can I just range attack this guy? Are we gonna take a bit? No, I can't! Frost. I think I can have him fly up here, though. Thing is, though, he's not close enough. Let's end this. Got to move. Hit, please. Damn it. This is just the worst place that he can that he that he's just hanging out right now. Can you feel right. death's cold grip? Sneak attack on him because we're on the low ground. There we go. All right, use our last short rest. You're really hurting too, Zelostar. Dead goblin child. Oh no. Didn't even have anything on him. Mm hmm. Nah. 
None of this is unnerving at all. Mm hmm. Oh, that's a big one. That's a very large one. Oh, he he, fa he fucking found the hell out of us. That's the Phase Spider Matriarch. Good God. I can't even. At okay, I gotta be able to sneak attack this guy. I have to. That was the path interrupted. She's right fucking there. Ugh. Can you move at least? All right, move a little bit. Now sneak attack. Thank you. All right, that's good. I hate to see what she's got. Oh, another ethereal jaunt. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, penis breath. Well, okay, okay. Maybe we can still make this work somehow. Uh. Alright, I can't multiple target on that one. It's okay. Uh, um. Can I throw anything? No. Okay. Expecting this. Fortunately, it's easy to kill them, but I feel like if I'm not careful, things will get bad quickly. I need something that takes them all out, though. I had like a. Yeah, there we go. Let's try this. That works. Kind of. That almost worked. I gotta think spiders are getting smart. Ah, no! Alright. I'm gonna need flaming spear for this one. Not enough space! What's that supposed to mean? Put it there. Yeah, do that. Oh man, why does everything hurt so much? Alright. Guess I'll just ram into you. You can't do much, can you? Alright, flaming spear is working better than I thought it was. Alright, stay in. Let's see if you can fend off the face spiders for a bit. Stop that! Jeez! Get the hell away from me! Alright. What can I do here? Spiritual weapon. Get out of the mall here. Maybe this one will work a little better. Again, a nice buffer in between everything here. So, I'll just throw a fireball at you, I guess. Won't hit, though. So it did. How about that? Where do I go from here? Wait a minute, I got a crazy idea. What if I hit the spider web? <laughs> oh, I love feeling smart. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're in business. Fuck yeah. 
<laughs> uh, if I can stay alive long enough, that is. Alright. Well, now we got hope. I can take this guy out, no problem. As long as you stop spitting on me. That guy's on fire. I'll go ahead and ram him. Good. Stereon. Got any. Nope. Okay. Range attack him, please. Thanks, buddy. Oh, she mad. She big angry. Oh, Jesus. This is. Ah! Oh, no. I must help him. Yes, do help him. Oh, this thing needs to die quickly, then. Healing word. There you go. Okay. Still on my feet. All right, Asterion. I gotta, I gotta believe in you, buddy. Frost breath. Take him out. Gloria blows. Keep it going. Ah! That's the stuff! What do you got? A poisoner's robe. Oh, he's dead again. A lot of people are gonna be dead if we don't if we don't help here. Oh, I got two down. I got two down! No, no, no! Can't reach him! Fuck! Yeah, I need cure wounds on everybody here. Maybe I they AoE one maybe? Don't have that yet. None of this is good. Absolutely zero percent of this is good. Critical well, fucking so miss. Why am I not surprised? All right. We need to do this, Zelestar. We need to do this. Here we go. Here we go. Move you away. Very well. This guy, Ethereal Jaunt, he's gonna do something that's gonna hurt a lot. You just have to hurt him. You just have to hurt him. Five damage. Oh, you bitch! Still breathing, despite everything. Okay. 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 60%. I need, a, I need something that's guaranteed to hit. Guaranteed to hit. No good's arranged. Alright. Hit, damn it! Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ, man! Ah, a little help, please. All right, we need to. We need to to long rest, fucking immediately. Ah, Zelastar! Should get some rest. I need to keep sharp. Let's help up Zelastar. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Now let's go long rest. Oh man. That was rough. Anything to say to that, Withers? We meet again. As predicted. I shall be here in my camp. For whenever thou hast need of my services. I almost did need your help. 
All right. Very well. No, no. Shit. No, no, no. Not this one. Oh, did I mess it up? I didn't mean to attack you. I meant to leave. Why why is attacking you an option when you're so clearly so helpful? Not this one. Writing the balance. Beyond Anyway, the what he does is whenever your comrades die, you can bring them back. Of spirits akin to thine own, and For a small sum of money, by though. The treacherous cult of the absolute. Felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin. You can also hire uh, some, I guess, NPCs, a la Dragon's Dogma, to help us out. If ever we need it. But we don't need it right now, I don't think. Yeah, we just killed a, a dragon, or not a dragon, a spider mama. I think we're doing pretty good. Alright. Alright. Let's just... Let's just go to bed get everybody back to fighting spirit again. So here's all our food. The more we add, the more it adds up. Got the gruel there. A couple of our apples. Baguette. Our potatoes. Fish. Onion. Cheese. Ribs. Maybe not the ribs. Greets. Perfect. Full rest. You don't sleep well. Flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Maybe I did get lucky. Uh, hey, 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 hey! Shit. Shit indeed. What are you doing, man? You gonna bite a dragonborn? What's wrong with you? It's not what it looks like. I swear. You're all beat the fuck up, I, buddy. I wasn't gonna hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boar you snacked on. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. You thought you could I just snack just on me while I, was, while I had my back turned. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. He's a giving me the puppy dog eyes. I don't think I have much of a choice here. Through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. A, a, a fair I assumption. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. I do. I believe you. Because everybody likes you. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? Here it comes. I only need a taste. I swear. Fine, but not a drop more than you need. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Might be a little cold, you know, comfy, lizard and all, but... Shall we? Go for it. Have at it if that's what you really want, buddy. Don't know if your teeth can pierce my... Oh, they can... Ah, definitely <laughs> pierce my skin! <laughs> oh. Quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing... Yeah, do I get a bite now too? Oh, that's enough. That's enough. Can I can I roll a six, please? Sixteen's fine too. I'll go with a fifteen. Okay, get off there. You're done. You're done. You don't need to. Okay. Hmm. Oh, of course. Ow. That was amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. 
I'm looking forward to see a fight. Now. It take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. Let's get you some sleep. You need your help up, buddy. Off. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. I always make sure I enable the, the vampires, because they remember their enablers. Uh, but I'm so cold. I, I miss my blood. So that's good for Asterion and all that, but we are unfortunately left bloodless as a result. Gonna have some disadvantage or a couple of uh, hits to our rolls, but he seems thrilled. He's even happy. Good morning. How do you feel? Uh, I'm fine. I just feel a little woozy. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. Whatever that means. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Is that how you could stand in the sun? Because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Hmm. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. Could you not As go through rivers before? Quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. What's causing this? The Mind Flayer's parasite? That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these... Uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. So we're traveling with a vampire, are we? Of course we are. Word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. Nah, you're gonna want that dragonborn blood, trust me. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Right? I trust him. He won't hurt us. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Well, I feel that. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he's feeling great. Well, I think I'm gonna call it here for today. We just killed a massive spider mama. And now I think we can pass by with a bit more security so next week on Baldur's Gate we're gonna be heading up to the get to that goblins camp and finally take them out and hopefully save a druid in the meantime thanks for coming guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time